we've got the refresh Kia Forte. And true to form, Kia, just after having this vehicle out for a few years, is already tweaking the formula. Take it easy there, Andrea. Here we go. Let's pop it in sport mode. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we're driving the Kia Forte with a facelift. But first of all, let's get into what's under the hood. A two-liter four-cylinder engine matched with a CVT, 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque front wheel drive only. There's an optional 1.6 liter turbo four cylinder with a seven speed dual clutch transmission, 201 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. The base model in Canada gets a manual transmission, but not in the US, but the top GT trim in the US with the 1.6 liter turbocharged engine gets a manual transmission, but we don't in Canada. I think that's a miss there for Kia. Yeah, well, the thing is that in the province of Quebec, manual transmission base model cars are still popular and that's why they bring them. It's also a price point thing. They yeah. can get them in and advertise a cheaper car. This is one of only a few cars left in the market that starts under $20,000 Canadian and that, my friends, is a dying market and yeah. it's too bad because these are great cars. They sure are. Now, speaking of that base model, what do you get in it? What are the key standard features? The base trim features include an 8-inch touchscreen, a 4.2-inch instrument cluster, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, heated front seats, cloth upholstery, manual driver and passenger seats, halogen headlights, heated side view mirrors, 15-inch wheels, and a 6-speed manual transmission in Canada. It's got drive modes here. What can we put it in? You can put it in S for subscribe, and if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all our reviews drop, and then you can watch them. And we do this, a couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So please subscribe, hit the bell, but also follow along on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto, and the links are below. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below. This Forte, the engine is matched with the CVT, but you wouldn't know it. Mm -hmm. It shifts beautifully. Yeah, it's mimicking shifts. The difference with this transmission is it has a chain-driven, continuously variable transmission. They call it an IVT, intelligent variable transmission. But because it's chain-driven instead of a belt-driven mm -hmm. system, they mimic shifts. And when you drive it, you honestly can't tell. In fact, Andrea and I both drove this and we thought, is this the one with the bigger engine? in the dual yeah. clutch that's how good it is yeah we couldn't believe it even the power 147 horsepower are you kidding me it doesn't feel like it kia has tuned this beautifully we have a great hot topic coming up after questions coffee and cars talking about this category yeah. and why i believe and andrea believes as well a lot of people are looking past this kind of car yeah now, what, what about the way it drives? What do you think? I really like it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It handles very well. It's agile. It's nimble. It feels pretty quick. The only time that I've noticed maybe a lack of power, and you can hear it right here on the highway, you know, a little bit. It gets a little yeah. bit louder. <laughs> yeah, but but it, remember the class that it's in. That's and it. it has 147 horsepower. That's the whole thing. You have to adjust, recalibrate yeah. your, your mindset. This is an inexpensive um, commuter car. And you know what? I think it does a great job. Yeah. Now, it's also nice to be back in a car. Oh my God, I'm so <sighs> sick and tired of driving SUVs all the time. Every time we get a vehicle to review, yeah. it's another SUV. You know what? People are looking past these things. You can you can move it around, you can park it anywhere. I'm really enjoying it. Now, it doesn't have independent rear suspension. No. And that's one thing compared to another vehicle. We're gonna talk about that coming up in Questions Coffee and Cars. One thing that I noticed in the snow, of course, is the ground clearance. We all know that with cars. And I think that's why SUVs and crossovers are so popular is you just sit up a little bit higher. Obviously not the case with a car. And I did find that when we were in the snow, 
the bottom I could hear it scratching a little bit we had an Audi a7 same sort of problem when they sit lower to the ground but you just gotta wrap your head around the fact that you're driving a car and it's sportier and it is more fun you know what this is a great second vehicle to have in the family yeah. we have a Honda Civic as um, a third vehicle in our family but uh, having a compact car to go along with your SUV that's yeah. a really good garage to have now the Koreans can't leave well enough alone. This car came out just a couple of years ago and they're yeah. already in there tweaking it, giving it a facelift. What did they do? Well, they gave it a new front grille, new front bumpers and rear bumpers and new wheel designs. I like the look. This GT line has the red accent in the grille. I think it's sharp. It looks cool. Yeah, they've done a really nice job of yeah. making it look upscale, even though this is not an expensive car. Uh, yeah, I think Kia, one of their strong points is designed and you see that on the inside as well. They made a few changes to the inside. They added an automatic emergency brake with auto hold. It's available, it's not on every model. It now comes standard with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and the available 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen which we have on the GT line trim. Now Andrea, is it the same conundrum we have you can't get the large screen that we have and wireless Apple and Android. You got it, Zach. It sure is. So this does not come with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The 8-inch touchscreen that you get on the base trims does. We found out the reason behind it. Mm -hmm. we, we, were, we were on an event with uh, Hyundai and we asked the product planner. We said, why can't we get wireless Android and Apple with the bigger screen? Yeah. Uh, because when you get the bigger screen, you get onboard navigation. That's right. Built-in navigation into the head unit yeah. and Apple and Android want their navigation to be the default and Hyundai and Kia are saying no 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 if we have on board our so it's a tug of war yeah and all about money it's all about money yeah. and who has the proprietary navigation so they can't figure that out hopefully they'll figure it out and we'll get that on board now we talk about value with this Kia Forte it certainly is there the trim that we're test driving is just over $26,000, but you don't have to spend that much if you don't want What's to. What's the best value trim, Andrea? Best value trim in Canada goes to the EX Plus trim. You get the eight inch touchscreen, but you get a heated steering wheel and heated front seats, a sunroof, LED headlights and LED taillight, and manual driver and passenger seats. Now in the US, the GT line for just over $21,000. I mean, what a steal of a deal. Yeah. You get the larger touch screen and mostly the same features that are available in the EX Plus trim that we have in Canada, but you also get ventilated front seats and Let's move power to, driver seats. Let's move what? to America, Andrea. Get a Forte. What a deal. All right, the back seat, this is a compact car. It's not massive, but it's comfortable. You just have to get your head around the fact of what you're driving. Yeah, the Forte comes with great second row legroom at 35.7 inches, but it's not best in class, Zach. The Hyundai Elantra with 38 inches and the Honda Civic with 37.4 inches both offer more rear legroom. When it comes to cargo capacity, you can see that our carry-on and a cooler fit just fine. And it's actually best in class at 15.3 cubic feet. The Civic takes second with 14.8 cubic feet. And it's the Nissan Sentra in third with 14.3. Did I mention that I love being back in a car again? We got some great questions about this. Let's get into it. Time now for questions, coffee, and cars. Your questions from Instagram. How is the dual clutch transmission? I heard the dual clutch from Hyundai and Kia is jerky and not smooth at low speeds. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. I think the big problem with people who have never experienced a dual clutch transmission is when you get in, you're not really sure what it's doing. Yeah. So if you know what it is, then you kind of go, oh, that makes sense. So it's not an automatic transmission. It's actually a manual transmission automatically controlled. Yeah. So all of those sensations you get when you're in a manual transmission with the clutch going on and off, when you're backing into a spot or changing gears, you know, you put the clutch in and out, it's doing all of that, yeah. but it's doing it automatically. And once you get your head around that, it, you go, oh, it's kind of fun. Yeah, and, and you kind of think to yourself, oh, I get it now. I, mm -hmm. I see how this is all working. 
I really like it. I think it has such an engaging and entertaining drive. We had it in the Kona. We had it in the Santa Cruz. Um, I'm trying to think what else oh. we had the dual clutch in. Well, Hyundai uses it a lot now in yeah. their SUVs. They're using what's called a wet dual clutch. But it's um, it's basically more fun it, once you realize what it is. If you know what you're getting into, I think that you can really enjoy this DCT. Very good price point with great gas mileage. I wonder if they're missing out on some sales by not having an all-wheel drive option. Well, mm -hmm. Mazda does with the Mazda 3. They have an all-wheel drive option, but most vehicles don't come with all-wheel drive in this class. Uh, you can get the Subaru Impreza, of course. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, most of these cars, if you're looking at the Corolla, the Civic, the Elantra, this, they're front-wheel drive. And that's part of the beauty of them is the simplicity. And you know what? There is absolutely nothing wrong with a front-wheel drive car. You put the proper winter tires on it, and you drive with a lot of common sense, it's yeah. gonna do just fine in the winter. So we've all been programmed that everything's gotta be all wheel drive. No, not everything has to be all wheel drive. This car with the right, actually it has winter tires on it right now. It does. And we drove it in some pretty crappy weather yeah. and it was fine. Actually, we have the Ionic 5 all wheel drive this week, also with winter tires on and this Forte and frankly, I didn't see much of a difference in our snowy conditions. Well, you're seeing out now, the snow's all gone. It melted yeah. very, very quickly, but we had a lot of snow for a few days, and this was just fine. And thank God it melted quickly. It's gone. <laughs> I said to Andrea, there goes winter. That lasted for two weeks. Thank you. We put out a lot of content weekly, and if you're looking for anything on a car, it's really easy to find. All you do is you go to the YouTube search bar. First of all, you type in Motormouth, and then the brand you're looking for. In this example, it's Kia. Then all of the videos we've done on Kia products will show up. How does it compare to the segment leader, the new Civic, in terms of build quality and drive? I like it. This interior is quite nice. I would say it is probably equal to the Civic, but the Civic has a higher starting price. Mm -hmm. And even this top trim, this is the GT line. We don't have the 1.6 liter turbocharged. That's on the top trim. We've got the two liter four cylinder, but it basically has the same interior. And look at this steering wheel. There's not a lot of hard plastic, lots of soft materials used. One of the things is that this comes with um, a torsion beam rear suspension. It doesn't come with independent rear suspension. So the segment leaders are the Civic and the Corolla. Both of them have independent rear suspension. I prefer that over a torsion beam, but you know, driving this for a week, put it this way. We have the Ionic and we have this Kia Forte this week. They're both fantastic products. Yeah. I take this out more because I, I, I like it. It's fun. I like the interior. I like the classic layout in here. I like where the buttons and switches. I want to put the heat on for my seat. I just hit a button. <laughs> I don't have to go to a menu and a screen. I don't have stupid door handles. I just have everything right here. And you know what? I like that. I think for ease of use, yeah. it's really nice. Kia's done a good job with this. It's hard to find a lot wrong with it and all in the, this segment at this price point. Yeah, there's some piano black. Of course yeah. there is in this price point. But you know what? All of the stuff above your knees is soft touch. Well done, Kia. Yeah. And now it's time for our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? Are small sedans or entry-level cars still popular and relevant in Canada? Is it reliable? Is the hatchback still popular in North America? With more people shifting into SUVs and crossovers these days, as both of them have the largest market share. It's amazing how things have changed in the auto industry. When I first started reviewing cars, it was the Civic and the Corolla were the best sellers. Yeah. And now it's compact crossovers. In fact, crossovers and trucks now account for about 80% of the market and cars are just down to 20. But of that 20%, this is the most popular category. Yeah, for sure. This offers a lot of space, but it's that fuel economy that's quite incredible. We're all talking about getting into EVs and PHEVs and hybrids, but how about a car? You can get great fuel economy almost as good as a hybrid. Well, here's a perfect example. We've been driving this car for almost a week. Yeah. We've had some pretty cold weather. It's warmed up a little bit since we got it. But this car is getting around 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers in real world economy. That's 36 miles per gallon. Yeah. When you think about that, you'd have to get a hybrid, as Andre just mentioned, for a lot of vehicles to get similar mileage. So you 
can have something that's comfortable, good on gas, and doesn't cost a lot to buy. No, not at all. Now, hatchbacks, well, they're great for practicality and versatility. Um, I like the Forte 5. I also like the Civic hatchback and the Corolla. They're equally as fun. But you know what? Sedans outsell hatchbacks. Yeah. You would think sporty, fun little hatchbacks would be the most popular. No, 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 no. It's sedans, believe it or not. Okay, so if sedans sell better, why do they charge more for hatchbacks? Why is that? I mean, they. it's almost like they're saying, oh, we're going to position this as a sportier vehicle, so we're going to charge more for it. Because there's a certain segment of people that won't consider a sedan. They want a hatchback. Well, you want it, you got to pay. Although, the, I have to say, the Forte 5, that base model, comes with the two liter four cylinder engine but all other trims get the 1.6 liter turbocharged engine okay i gotta tell you about the reliability on this one oh, no no that's vital stats oh, yeah, vital we do the stats. vital stats let's do the vital stats let's start with pricing the base manual trim in canada is just over eighteen thousand dollars and the base cvt in canada is just under twenty thousand dollars just over nineteen thousand dollars us our best value trim, the EX Plus in Canada, starts at just over $23,000, and the GT line in the US is just over $21,000. The top GT Limited trim is just under $30,000 Canadian and $23,500 US. GD Power gives the 2021 Kia Forte an impressive quality and reliability score of 87 out of 100. Car Edge states the Forte will retain 49% of its value after five years. Here's the fuel economy. This Forte gets 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and just 5.9 on the highway. That works out to 29 miles per gallon city and 39 miles per gallon highway. Kia offers a five year 100,000 kilometer or 60,000 mile warranty. 87 out of 100. It even beats the Civic, which gets great reliability and quality. Where it doesn't get the best is in resale value with the 49% after mm. five years. But you know what? This is what I say, Zach, with the chip shortage and the used <laughs> car market through the roof. Hey, it's anybody's game these days. That's true. Well, you touched on the Civic. It certainly is one of our vehicles to consider. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. First up is the Mazda 3 with a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine and a 6-speed automatic transmission, 155 horsepower, and a starting price of just over $22,000. The best seller in this class is the Honda Civic with a 2-liter 4-cylinder and a CVT, 158 horsepower, and a starting price of $24,500. The Toyota Corolla with a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine also matched to a CVT. It is 168 horsepower and a starting price of just just over $21,000. The Nissan Sentra with a 2 liter 4 cylinder and a CVT with 149 horsepower and a starting price of just over $21,000. So there are four cars for you to consider. Lightning round. Two things we like, two things we like to see improved. I really like how nimble and sporty this is. I love how good it is on gas. What I'd love to see is the manual transmission available in Canada on the top trim with the turbo engine. And we say it every time, Kia and Hyundai, wireless Android, wireless Apple on your bigger head units. The saying champagne tastes on a beer budget really suits this forte. You know what? People are looking at SUVs and overlooking highly efficient, inexpensive, great cars like this forte. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below.